പത്തൊമ്പതാം നൂറ്റാണ്ട് ഇറ്റ്സ് നോട്ട് ജസ്റ്റ് ബാഡ് ഇറ്റ്സ് പെയിൻ ഫുള്ളി ബാഡ് A story like this, a life like this had so much film potential. To see it squandered away like this is a real shame. Hi guys, this is Radish. You're watching Film Companion South. Let's talk about Patamba... No, no, no. Patamba... No, no. Ah, yes. Patamba Dhan Nootanda. Written and directed by Vinayan. Starring Shiju Wilson, Chandu Minot Jos, Kadayu Lohar and Anup Menon among others. Pattambadam Nootanda, as the name suggests, is a period film set in 19th century Kerala. More precisely, in the kingdom of Travancore. The film chronicles the life and times of Velayadan Panikkar, a social reformer who didn't mind taking up the sword every now and then to teach the upper class boys a lesson or two. How he, along with Nangeli, another feisty woman from that time, led the charge against the systematic caste-based oppression which seemed to be a norm back then from the rest of the story. Writer-director Vinayan's career spans two decades and it's a kind of a mixed bag. On one hand, we have films like Vasandin Lakshmi Bindanyanam and Chalak Koda Kairan Chandadi. But on the other hand, you also have films like War and Love, Dracula and the Akash Kanga sequel. Yeah, maybe this list is slightly longer. Anyway, sometimes with that kind of pedigree, it becomes really difficult to reinvent yourself, to push yourself and to perhaps, you know, reimagine the way you tell a story. With Pattamadha Mutanda, which I believe is his first period film, Vinayan had the scale, the actors and more importantly, the story to do just that, to reinvent himself. This could have been that film which would have shut down his critics once and for all. And when I saw the trailer, I really felt that he's managed to pull that off. But now, having watched the film, I have to say, I'm disappointed. Pattambadam Nutanda is not just bad, it's painfully bad. It's the kind of film where you're always hoping that now something will happen, now things will pick up, this character kind of introduction will change things. But you just keep hoping and nothing happens. The film obviously takes untamed liberties around historical facts, tweaking them to evoke emotions and fit the overall narrative. Like the whole breast tax angle that the film goes with, uh, I don't think that is how it panned out in real life. A simple Google search about it will tell you. But it's not that. I'm not a stickler for historical accuracy in cinema. You can tweak it, bend it, slice it, heck, even change it. But as long as you have me interested in the characters and engaged in the storyline, I'm in for the ride. Sadly, the makers don't care for that kind of shit. Why bother building a character, showing his journey, his growth, his motivation? Instead, why don't we have other characters say these things out loud? So you have various scenes in which different characters tell you how rich Velayadan is and unlike others, how he pays his taxes, which is why he cannot be arrested. You will have people talking to each other about how manly and how strong he is. And just to ensure that you did not miss that, there are fight sequences after fight sequences showcasing again just that. You get no insight as to what kind of a person Velayadan was. What was his relationship with his family? What was his relationship with his father, whom we are told is killed when he was very young? For an aware of a man to achieve what he achieved, That to during that time is no mean feat. So what was the reason for him to put his entire life and his entire wealth for this cause? If you're looking for answers to these questions, well, this is not the film. Shiju Wilson is a talented actor who is unfortunately saddened with this week's script. He's asked to walk upright, look stern and be perpetually pissed off. I heard that Shiju prepared a lot for this film. I guess that's where he picked up the amazing ability to ride a horse in slow motion. And he shows that off a lot in this film. <laughs> If your main character itself is so badly developed, you can only imagine how the others are treated. Everyone has one thing to do. The king, who is my favorite among the lot, has only one concern, his ornaments. Every scene is either reminiscing about it or crying about it. Kaiman, his character trait is that he hates Velayadan. But just to add a little bit shade for that, they've shown that he likes Kathakali and drinking whiskey. For all the others like Nambi and Kinju, they've not even bothered to give those characters another shade. They all just hate Velayadan. That's it. 
once you get tuned out of a film, this is how I entertain myself. See, I personally believe that historical cinema is significant because it interrogates the nation's relationship with its past. While it may depict what happened in the past, the subtext is almost always the present scenario. The role of historical films like this is to either challenge or complement the existing narrative. Patumada Tutandra did have a lot of relevant topics like the class divide, patriarchy and it also had a social message that they could have depicted through the life of Velayadan Panikir that it is always the right time to stand up for the right thing and that a true leader will always use his wealth, power and social influence for the upliftment of the society. But the only point that this film is trying to make is how to dress up in 19th century attire and shoot fight sequences in high frame rate and then slow them down. Performance wise also there is nothing to write home about. In fact the ever reliable Chamber Vinod is also just going through the motions as Kaya Kulam Kuchumi. His character comes and vanishes. It's as if midway through the film Vinod realized that this is going to be a disaster and he just bailed. And as I said before, Shiju tries his best with the material that he has. I just hope that he gets more and more lead hero roles after this. You see, as a story, Vailaidan Chaigavar's story is the stuff of legend. I have to admit that I didn't know anything about this man before this film. Reading about him, his achievements was indeed an eye-opener. A story like this, a life like this had so much film potential. To see it squandered away like this is a real shame. So would I recommend this film to a friend? To my enemy? Yes. But not to my friend. My advice? Stay at home, enjoy your own Satya and give this one a miss. So that's the review. If you liked it, hit that like button and share this video with your family and friends. Bye bye.